my students in our previous lesson I thought about the angle the types of angle identification of angles before we start this lesson you can see we are still on angle who can tell me the types of angle we have said in our previous lesson then we say that we have acute angle we have left angle we have obtuse angle so in our today's lesson we have angle property at a point of intersecting straight line one of the properties are one vertical opposite angle in this vertical opposite angle you can see if we have a situation whereby a you can see we have a and b and c and d are two intersecting line what makes it to intersect you can see that the line a b and line a c they meet they intersect at the point then the pair of angle marked x and the y we have x and the y the pair of angle mark s here is our x and here is our y here will be our u and here will be our v then you now say the pair of angle mark x and y are called vertical what opposite angle why the other one we have u is what is called a vertical opposite of y is equals to v then vertical opposite angle are equal to y is equals to y x is equals to y and the u is equals to v example as you can see on the board we have example from this now it will help us to understand in a situation whereby you are state which pair of the marked angle vertical opposite angle here these are the angles we have many angles here in this angle we have ang the line of a and c and we also have b now this one this line here and here with is a parallel line so from this now we get our vertical opposite angle which the pair of the vertical the pair of the vertical angles are hey, looking at it here now you see we have c and e so in this c and e is a vertical opposite angle why the f and d is the vertical opposite angle so the other side now we have the one we have the next one we have k j and the g is a vertical opposite angle and the k and the y i is a vertical opposite angle you can see here we still have the same thing our a and the h likewise in this side we have i and the b so these are called the pair of vertical opposite angles we are still on the properties the next one is complement complementary and supplementary angles when you say that an angle is a complement complementary is when two angles are said to be complement if they are sum is 90 so if you look at the board now you can see we have angle 90 in this angle 90 they bisect it which we have from here we have lom which is an angle and the other one is mon is another angle for you to get angle 90 you have to sum the two of the two angles which is 60 65 plus 25 will now give us 90 which will now means that you have to call it angle the complementary angle when you have the sum of what sum of angle in 90 so this angle here is complementary angle when you multiply when you divide the two angles to get angle 90. the next one is supplementary angle supplementary angle is two angles are said to be supplementary if their sum is 
180. And we know that when you talk of angle in a straight line, is angle in a straight line is 180. So in this case now, you, when you see we have two angles here now, the, the one up is 125 degree, while the second one is 55 degree. So from P, O, Q, we have 55. And from O, from O, from ALU, O, Q, we have 125. Then when you sum the two angles, so if you sum the two angles, you now get angle 180, which is 125 plus 55 degree. We give us 180. We call it supplementary angle. So in our exercise, if you are asked to find the complementary of the, each of the following angle, what do you think we do? We have 20 degree, which is in this 20 degree, Having know that complementary angle is when you have the sum of the angle in a 90 degree. So, first of all, what you have to do is this. We have, find the angle of 20. This is angle of 20. For you to get it, it will be equals to what? It will be. So, 20 is equals to. 90 degree minus minus 20 degree is equals to 70. Then the complement the complementary angle of 20 will be 70 because if you multiply 20 by 20 to 20, 70 by 20 it will give us 90. So the answer is 70 degree. B is the same thing. If you ask to find angle 30. A complement of angle 30. So what you have to do is the you minus 30 from 90. The result you get will be will be the complement of this angle. So in this case now, we now say that 60 is the complementary of complementary of 30 degree. So coming to the next one, finding the supplementary of each of the following. Uh, the same thing when to have studies when you talk of supplementary angle supplementary angle is the sum of the angle of 180 which is what for you have to ask yourself what from this 25 degree you pick up one from the 25 degree we have 25 degree is equals to 180 minus 25 so 180 minus 25 we give us what when you minus it what we have is 150 155 degree so then the answer will be 155 degree as a complement of 25 degree so that is it so come find the value of x in the following angles we have yes in this case now this is the angle they ask us to find the drawing has been made and you know that this and uh, this angle is angle 90 they gave us angle 62 from this angle 62 you have known that this angle is angle 60 angle 90 so what you have to do is this 90 degree minus 62 is equals to when you minus this from this one we get 28 when you minus it you get 28 the answer will be 28 degree so from there our x is 28 degree well, so if we sum the two, 28 plus 22, it will give us 90 degree. So coming to this one now, finding the angle of the value of x in this question now, we have x have been given to us and it's 3 also give to us. So we are about to find what is x. So how do we find it? Having know that the angle in a straight line is angle 180, it's the same thing you you pick up 180 minus 180 minus minus 83 when i give us the answer will be the answer will be 
97. We have 97 degree. So from this 97 degree now, the same thing in the other way around. If we sum it, it will give us angle 180. So you now call this one. This one is supplementary, while the other one is complementary angle. So in our, the, next, the next one is adjacent angle. In this adjacent angle, if we have a situation whereby a straight line CD meets another straight line AB at C. So looking at the diagram here, we have a straight line. We also name them A, B, C, D. So this line is line of E7 and this one is another line of E7. So based on this now, you know that this is an angle of a straight line which gave us what? Well, from here to here, from here to here, which is CD, meets another line which is AB, then at C. This is at C, which is at the point. Then we have then we have angle B C D and the angle A C D. Whenever you see this symbol, you have to know that it's talking about an angle. So we have angle B C D and the angle A C D are called adjacent towards angle on a straight line. So these are called adjacent of the being this and this now and the adjacent angle on a straight line and you have to notice that when you talk of adjacent angle on a straight line are uh, supplementary they are also supplementary angle the next one is angle at a point what is angle at a point we know that the angle the sum of angle at a point is 360 then look at the diagram on the board we have circle here, different angles. So the angle at the point there is 360. All the angle which we have, well, we have U, V, X, Y are called angle at a point. The adjacent on the straight line then we have, in adjacent on a straight line, as we said, you can see we have the adjacent here, this one X and V, and the y and the u which is equal to each adjacent one is 180 so when you sum the two of them together you get the angle of 360. S similarly since we have v and the v and the y are adjacent angle on a straight line then v plus y will give us 180. the sum of the, the sum of the angles which is when you add the angles together we still get angle 360. The next one, if we are asked to find, example, if we are asked to find the value of x and find the size of the angles, these are different angle given to us. And having known that angle of a circle is what? 360. The solution, first of all, you have to add it. By adding it, this, watch me, you have to add it. We have 3x plus 3x plus 2x plus x. So if you add all of them now, you know that we have what? Which is equals to? 360 degree so for you to do that if you add it you get this plus this and have been tell you in my previous classes that when you have an alphabet you know that this x here represents one so 3x plus 3x will give us 6x plus 2x will give us what 8x plus this x here it will not be 9s so when you sum it it will give us what 9 x which is equals to what 360 degree so first of all you have to divide the both side by nine by making x the subject of the formula because what we are looking for is the x in the diagram in this um, angles so then x is equals to nine sorry so 
dividing the both side by 9 so you have to you have x is equals to 360 degree divided by 9 because we are looking what we are looking for is x 9 divided this 9 divided by 360 to give us s so now we have succeeding in getting x as our subject of the formula now so wherever you see x now you substitute it you put 40 when you divide 9 9 divided by 360 will give us what for 40 degree so to show us that our x is 40 now our x is equals to 40 so wherever you see x you represent it as 40 now our s is 40 degree for you to know you have to sum hence we know that we have 3x plus 3x plus 2x plus x so wherever you see x you substitute it by what 40 which means we have 3 multiplied by 40 we give us 120. The other one, the same thing, when you multiply 3 by this x, it will still give you what? 120. The next one will be 2 divided by x, which is 40. Our x there is 40. You multiply. So, this, let me do it so that you understand it more. 3x, 3 multiplied by 40, which is this one, which also give us what? 120 degree. 2 multiply 2x is the same thing as 2 multiplied by 40, which is what 80 degree. Having know that our x is 40, then our x is equals to 40 degree. So in this case now, if we sum and therefore. I hope you are understanding it. Peter, are you following? Hmm? So, yes, you are following. So, since we have succeeding in getting the, the getting the angles, now you have to multiply. If you multiply it, you still get the angle of at a point which is 360 then 120 plus 120 plus 80 plus 90 we give us what angle 360 which is the we have succeeded in getting the angle of a point which is x 3 plus 3x plus 2s plus x do you have question or i will ask my own question so so having understand this lesson today we talk about the properties of angles which includes what number one is what who can tell me huh eh? stanley can you tell me okay one of them is vertical opposite angle mm -hmm. yes Who else will tell me again? Chinedu. Another one is what? Adjacent angle. Uh -huh. And uh, what again? We have complement, complementary and supplementary angles. So these are the properties of angles. So we end our today's lesson. Thanks. So having finished the lesson, our assignment based on the angles properties at a point intersecting straight angles straight line you will see it in your notes so when you come back you submit it to me thanks <laughs>